Hey y'all, Chuck here in beautiful Chat Phnom, Thailand. It is the uh, middle of the rainy season here. It is the beginning of September and uh, everything is very wet and moldy and mildew. <laughs> it's just kind of a gloomy time of this time of the year here in, in Thailand. But uh, Chat Phnom is a beautiful town in the northeast side of Thailand in Isan. Uh, Chat Phnom is known for Wat Pra Chat Phnom, which is a famous temple for Thai people. Uh, it's to be said that every Thai person should visit Wat Pra Chat Phnom at least one time in their life. But we always have a, a lot of tour buses that come here throughout the weekends. A lot of festivals and a lot of things happening. Today I want to talk to you about something that gets asked a lot is the living conditions here uh, in, a, in really a Thai style home or, or mine and page living condition here in this house. And I just want to show you some of the functions in a Thai style house. It's pretty much a basic concept throughout Thailand, uh, this particular home here, but I'm going to show you the entire home, uh, how we live here and some of the things that you'll find in a Thai style house. You'll see that most of the houses are like storefronts. Typically people will do a business inside of their home and it's usually open and typically they have a garage. This is an old style wooden. You'll see these all throughout Thailand. Typically the houses will have garage doors in front of them and, and open. A lot of the reason why homes are open is not just because of the temperature, but there's a lot of moisture and humidity really throughout the year. So it helps keep things dry. This house here is 30 years old. It's constructed out of cement, iron, rebarb, and, and bricks. So it's a pretty strong, strong home. It used, this house used to be a wooden home 30 years ago where Paige and her brother grew up here in the same exact location. Um, but now it's still a pretty strong house. I think that uh, it'll probably last forever. But anyway, let's go check it out. So my father-in-law makes tuk tuks. I've made a video um, about his shop. He's got a manufacturing company just down the road here. They stock parts for the shop here and also for some of the uh, the tuk-tuk drivers and the local shops who repair some tuk-tuks come over here and buy parts. So that's why we have all this uh, uh, stuff up here on, on the wall here. This is our living area here. This is where the mafia spend most of the time at nighttime watching TV. She's doing her exercise right now. Yeah. Mafia exercise. That's a Thai style exercise right there. Okamlangai Thai style. This is my father-in-law's uh, desk. This is where he will sit here at night and he'll do his little inventory and i bought him this chair not too long ago he uh he really enjoys the chair that the one he had was kind of wore out this is my perfect thai wife right here just sitting here on the computer looking at things to do or probably shopping on lazada i'm not really sure but this is where we hang out on a occasions like sunday fun day i know you guys uh, like the sunday fun day videos but um this is where we hang out it's an air conditioned room you'll notice that inside here we don't have air conditioning it's just open and we use fans to keep the room cool but right now the temperature is pretty good i would say right now it's somewhere around 28 degrees uh, celsius at the moment so but uh we've got some exercise equipment too i've got some upstairs I'll show you that too, but Paige usually does. She tries to do what, 10 kilometers a day, maybe now or more? She's like involved in her computer right now. <laughs> anyway, she works out between 45 minutes to an hour. I think she did 15K the other day. 
Inside here is the garage. It's a storage place for my father-in-law. He keeps all of his tuk tuk parts, engines, drive trains, and stuff in there. Let's go check it out. I'll show you what's in there. Well, this is it. This is not the most organized place of the house, but it's my father-in-law's area, and it's what he's used to, uh, to have in here. This is actually a pretty big place. It's about the same size as the living area, uh, but this is where he keeps his engines and the rear ends. What they do is they totally rebuild these things and uh, they build the frame, they build the tuk-tuk from scratch, but they import these from uh, mostly Japan. They are three-cylinder Daihatsu engines, but uh, once they're done, the thing looks brand new. But I would like to clean this up eventually and be able to pull our vehicles in here, uh, a future project. So this is where we hang our clothes to dry. It's very difficult this time of year to get anything to dry, but usually, typically, this, this building inside here gets really hot uh, most of the year. Soy Mafia. But I think I need to put a junior on there. But Paige has never driven it and neither has her mom. So I just, uh, we take this to go eat dinner. Anyway, I made a video on buying a motorbike in Thailand. This is my little section here. I've got tools, just some basic tools. I bought this, uh, I bought a Makita drill here. Whenever you're trying to hang a pitcher, you got to drill a hole in the wall. So I bought this and uh, yeah, that came on an old bicycle that we had. We have a sink out here for the shop. And this thing right here is a necessity in Thailand. It doesn't have to be that big, but in, in our house, we don't have that much power outages, but we have very low water pressure most of the time. And sometimes the, uh, there is no water. So this big storage tank really gives us no problem with a water shortage. And behind the tank here, I bought this when we first moved in here because the old tank was rotten and it had some pinholes in it and it was leaking and it was causing the pump to run all the time. I bought this size 250 and I got a big one because we have a two-story house here and, and we have plenty of water pressure upstairs, no problem. Everybody in the house can take a shower at the same time. So no problem with water pressure here, but having a pump in a house is definitely a necessity. A lot of people just take baths with this. What this is, is they just take the bucket and then they pour it on their head and they, this is how my father-in-law takes a, takes a shower bath, whatever, every night. He just takes this and you can hear him in the soaps up and then he's done. <laughs> but this is a, a, a Thai style shower that you'll find in a lot of Thai homes. But we have a, this is just the add on shower, a bathroom, but we have a shower, but there's no hot water on this shower head right here. And uh, because this is out in the shop, we put a urinal here and all of the bathrooms have regular style toilets. So let's go check out the kitchen area next. So this is our kitchen here. I bought this refrigerator when we first got here because I like to cook. And the refrigerator, the old one, which I took upstairs, I'll show you guys in a minute, uh, is, was too small. So I bought this. I'll let you know later. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's bigger than the one we got. I can store some stuff in there. Yeah. And you can see that it's pretty full right now with all kinds of things. We don't really store too much here, um, but yeah, I think we do store, we do store too much here now. <laughs> now this is for, this is hot water right here. Now back in America, I always drunk, we always drank drip percolated coffee, you know? And, uh, but here I've just, uh, 
I don't know, I've been drinking this three-in-one stuff here because everywhere we travel, we travel a lot and I have so much camera gear and computer equipment that trying to carry around a drip coffee system is not, is not fun. So, but if you want drip coffee, they sell it usually everywhere in Thailand. But this is a, a little sweet, but you can buy some that's not sweet and it's easy. You just add the water to it. I bought all of this stuff here. When we first got here, there was very little space to put anything. Actually, there was a lot of space, just very little cabinets to put anything in. So I upgraded. I bought these. First thing I did was I bought these. These are, this is actually two. And when I got them, I said, like, wow, these things are cool. I'm gonna get two, they look the same. But when I got them home, I noticed that the, the printing on the tile was different, but it's okay. <laughs> At first I was like, oh, you know, it doesn't match, but the color's a little different too, you'll notice here. A little, a little different shade of brown, but it's okay. But when I first got it, I was like, oh no, it doesn't match, but now I don't even, I don't even see it anymore. I just, not too long ago, bought these cabinets here. Uh, this I hung up here on the wall. The prices for these, I don't remember. They weren't that expensive. I think these here were about 9,000 baht a piece. And I think this was somewhere around 12 or 15,000 baht for the two. I don't really remember on the pricing, but um, one thing is very difficult to get here is uh, drawers. So we bought these little things here to put silverware in and it, it seems to work just fine. A microwave, I just bought this microwave not too long ago because uh, the other one was rusted up uh, pretty good on the top. Brand new washing machine. They had a, a washing machine that was a little smaller than this, actually a lot smaller than that. So I figured since we were going to do a lot of laundry, I bought this uh, really good washing machine and I took the old one and I put it outside, which I'll show you in a minute, but it went out and uh, my father-in-law just gave it away. So cooking in Thailand, everything is gas. We have a stove top to cook on over here and we have another, usually we have two of these. We keep one outside and one here. And whenever it's empty, my mother-in-law just makes a phone call and the guy comes right out. We bought, we, in Thailand, you really can't drink too much of the water in the sink. It's really not good for you. So we bought this system here at the local Lota store and it's really a necessity and Paige can get the filters online, which are cheaper to, to get online. And uh, yeah, this is how we cook. We use the water from here and we use our drinking water. When we're not buying bottled water, we get, we get from here. So it's, it's, this is a very good system here. I bought this oven at Global House uh, when I first got here because I love to bake. So I bought this oven, I think it was 9,000 baht. And I had a, we had a guy come wire, wire it in and uh, I love it. I can make pizzas, I can bake bread, I can make cakes, I can do all kinds of things with this. This is uh, really good for me, but my mother-in-law still uses the convectional oven and uh, that's what she likes to use. This is their room right here. I won't take you in their room, but they stay downstairs. And it's a pretty good size room. It's about the same size as our rooms upstairs, which I'll take you here in a minute. But this is their bathroom here. Basically another Thai style bathroom. And that's where Paul Red takes his, but there's a uh, hot water heater up in here. So they have hot water for Soy Mafia. <laughs> This is our back area here. This is where they like to do some outdoor cooking. They've got a little outside grill here. That used to be in the house, so now it's kind of a storage, but it's very wet here. My mother-in-law doesn't like to come out here at, at all this time of year because she doesn't like little crawly things. That's where our other gas tank is. But anyway, very small. There's not a whole lot I can do in this area. And this area right here is my future location for my brick oven, for my pizzas, my breads. Um, one of these days, I'm gonna build a really nice one here whenever uh, I can find time to settle, to settle down, I guess, but 
Yeah, I don't know what else to do out here. It's kind of small. I wish I had some place to plant herbs and vegetables and stuff like that, but I don't. Let's go take a look upstairs. This is basically where me and Paige sleep and keep our things up, up here. So let's go take a look. You have to really be careful on the steps here in Thailand. The steps are very small and narrow, so you've got sometimes you have to walk sideways to get up, but right here it's very steep the way they made it, so you just gotta be careful. And it's really good exercise, so do this about 10 times a day. Very good exercise. So this is our upstairs. This is a very big space up here. We've had a couple of parties up here. Um, but right now, it's so moist. We're having to put our clothes right in the center here uh, to let stuff dry with the ceiling fans. But, um, this is the original refrigerator that they had. Really don't keep anything in it, hardly. We keep water up here. And I keep some of my extra bakery stuff up here and something that I don't want to get thrown away, I keep it up here. This is a Thai style shrine. My father-in-law comes up here and shows respect to his family and uh, prays every morning. Um, rumor has it that there's a couple of little uh, Pinoy, which is small ghost up here. I'm not going to get into some stories about my personal experience, but sometimes uh, it gets a little spooky. So, but anyway, my mother ensures me that uh, they, they will cause me no harm. So, okay. Now here, I, I made a video not too long ago sharing with you guys that I had a bunch of birds coming in and out of the house and uh, they were making a mess on the floor for Paige to have to clean up. So I had a guy come out and put some screens here. Really nice screens. And um, yeah, really happy with that. We can't really leave the, the windows open right now because of rain. It's pretty windy and the rain's coming in. So but we typically leave this open and the other window open and we have a really nice breeze up and up here upstairs. Okay, well let's go check out. We have three rooms upstairs. I'm going to show you all three of them. This is a, I call this our hostel room. So this is the hostel room. This room right here will sleep. Let's see. We'll sleep two, four, six, eight people comfortably. It does have air condition. We have pretty much, we keep storage of some extra blankets. It does get cold up here, like maybe a couple weeks out of the year. But me and Paige keep our suitcases, uh, stuff like that, in this room. This is actually the biggest room in the house. Uh, it would be ideal for me and Paige to stay in this room, but it's very loud outside here with the uh, the trucks and the motorbikes uh, at nighttime so definitely a no for staying in this room for us but it's a good place to, uh, for people when they come over a large group of people this is where we put them and it does happen quite a bit here in this house okay let's go check out room number two this is room number two this is where most of the people sleep when they come here. It's a nice room, nice bed, firm mattress, Thai style, um, has air condition. We have TV in here with its own receiver for people that like to watch TV. We seem to have a lot of suitcases. <laughs> so we got more suitcases here and a little place to put your thing. And Paige's brother has left some of his items here um, from last time he showed up. We had our first typhoon come through here uh, a couple weeks ago and a piece of the roof came off. I know you guys saw a few videos about it, but uh, it was fixed. We just uh, got to wait for things to dry. It looks like it's going to be okay. I thought maybe it was going to come down, but it dried pretty quick up there. So I think he's just going to have to uh, 
paint that. Now this is mine and Paige's room. I know you guys have seen it before. Uh, this is where we see it here. This is it. We actually bought two big cabinets here. And uh, yeah, we had a lot, we have a lot of clothes. So this is perfect. This is ideal for us for storage. And it has drawers here as well, but it's a duplicate. We have two of them and works really good. Paige's little makeup center. Now this bed is the same bed in the rest of the houses, but what's different about this bed is me and Paige went and bought a uh, apostropedic topper for this and uh, really soften the bed up really really good so you can get these uh really at a lot of places in thailand they're not super cheap but uh well worth well worth it of course another suitcase this is what's kind of funny about thailand construction <laughs> this is a uh, kind of like a window assembly unit and uh, they just attach it onto the wall but what's funny about it is is it's it's backwards and it's not just in our house i've seen this in other houses too so check this out you know this is supposed to be outside and then the screens can be outside as well so in order to open the windows i have to fish the screen open open the window and then close it back when really what should have happened is it should have just been turned the other way around but I don't know, whatever, right? Whatever they're thinking. But we also have a TV. I think I've turned it on once since we've been here three years. I'm not, a, I don't watch TV. I'm really, I like to watch like UFC. We get free UFC here in Thailand on channel eight. But you can get here any kind of sports, pack. you can get unlimited amount of channels here in thailand there's all kinds of packages especially for foreigners from all over the world so watching your favorite tv show in thailand is not a problem i just i've got too much stuff to do really to uh, to watch tv my 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 family likes to watch the news and singing shows and the news is very depressing here and the singing shows are well you know they're singing shows this is the roof of the building um that I took you into my father-in-law's shop. Those are, uh, I always thought that those roof, that the roof was some kind of fiber, like a fiberglass or compressed, some kind of compressed something, but it's actually a cement board. Well, it, somebody told me it was asbestos, but I, I don't really know. But anyway, uh, they're pretty strong. But you can see on the building next door here that looks like a roof. This is where that is part of the old house that was here uh that's exact similar house that's across the street where Paige and where they all lived here but uh they built a house right next door and of course they some of the wall had some of the old anyway thai style but yeah that's where the old house was before okay let's go back out here and show you a couple more things So right behind you is my exercise equipment. Now I bought all this stuff online on lazada.com. Uh, they didn't really enjoy delivering it here because it was pretty heavy. Uh, but this is something that I, is very important for me to have to be able to stay active, to stay healthy. I, I no longer have a real job, so I, I have to do physical activities. I bought two bikes. I have a mountain bike which is, uh, comes in handy when you're riding around towns like these because the roads are not good and these tires are very soft. And I have a really nice road bike that I go and I make really long distance runs. Sometimes for a couple of days, it gets me an out. Um, so I'm not stuck here with the mafias and page and everybody. I used to be in at work all the time, so now we're all together. So sometimes I like to get away. So I, I put a backpack on, I take off, and I just go wherever the road takes me on my road bike and I talk to people and I eat and it's just, it's, it's awesome uh, an out for me and now it's become a hobby and now when I'm not riding my bike I feel like, oh, what am I going to do? It's been raining so much so I'm like, okay, I, I got to go somewhere but we're headed to America 
in a week from now for five weeks. So we really can't go anywhere because of the rain and we're fixing to go on that way. So we have two bathrooms upstairs. Um, one, I guess you could say, is a guest bathroom. I think Paige uses it mostly. And she showers in mine. So I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at that. This cabinet right here was in our room when we first got here. Now it's just kind of a storage um, thing for us. But Paige keeps her... I don't know. She's got a lot of socks and she's got a lot of a lot of everything, but luckily she's very small, so it's a lot of small stuff. But we have to keep it open because if you close it, it starts to get mildew in here. So that is a big problem in Thailand is the moisture. So that's why we have all these open air vented buildings. So here is uh, our bathrooms. We got this is the main bathroom that we use here and this is the uh, we'll call this the guest bathroom. But in here we have a Thai style shower, a nice toilet, and we have, we always kind of collect little uh, things from the hotels, the mini hotel, not all of them, or we have a lot, but just some stuff for, for guests to come use uh, when they come visit, which seems to happen a lot here. I made a video on this right here. <laughs> I'll share it up here in the description box. It's a, a good video about really the bathroom styles in, uh, in Thailand. Kind of how to use that. So entertaining video if you want to watch it. This is our bathroom here. I bought this shower curtain here to keep, the floor is always wet. <laughs> so I bought this and you can see it has worked pretty good. So we, we usually take showers like sometimes three or four a day. I bought that and we have the new hot water heaters throughout the house. A bunch of little hanging racks to, uh, to hang our personal items up and a little bit of storage down here on the bottom. So when I first got here, these are vented holes outside. I had these screens put on here because there's nothing worse than having to use the restroom like this. <laughs> You'll see I have, I have one of these hanging up next to me too. So I said, why don't we just put some screens up here and get rid of this problem? didn't do a hundred percent because it's still open throughout here but now that we have the screens outside it's a lot better but this really uh works good because all kinds of things come in here to bother you now the geckos uh the little lizards aren't real happy with the screens definitely not happy with the outdoor screens but i guess they gotta find another place to hang out these are the hot water switches uh for the hot water heaters you got to turn those on whenever you want to use the uh, the hot water. And this is the view from uh, our back window. Our neighbor here always can see what she's doing down there. <laughs> but uh, some Thai style houses back here in the distance. Before this house was here, it used to be a really nice breeze. The make the make the Mekong River is right behind this on the next street, and always had a wonderful breeze coming over. But now it's kind of kind of blocked from this, but. It's okay, it's a clean house. She's a wonderful neighbor. So that's it guys. Me and Paige actually live here with her parents. Um, it's a wonderful situation for us. It allows us to be very flexible in our travels. We can pick up and go anytime we want to. We don't have to worry about leaving something unattended behind. So uh, it works out great for us. Her family's wonderful. Her mom is uh, super awesome. Her dad is probably the most giving, caring person I've ever met in my life. So the situation is really good here. And uh, me and Paige spend most of our time outside traveling all around Thailand and making these videos for you guys but I just wanted to share today a lot of people asked about some of the stuff in the house I wanted to show you how we live here in Thailand Thai style um, I wouldn't say this is Isan style there are a lot of people that still live in the old wooden homes but today's uh, building home today's buildings are mostly like this because uh, it's economically not feasible to build a wood house anymore because the cost of wood is a lot more than building a solid iron uh, concrete home so so uh, that's it. I hope you uh, guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the description box. 
And if you like the video, click like. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of awesome travel stuff coming. Always, always something happening here. So if something's happening, I always share it with you guys. I hope you got something from this video, and I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Kapun ha, Topi, Lao Jok in my cup. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.